hello welcome back to my channel my name is Olupumi. welcome how have you been yeah so i promise to bring to you how to make a party buns and this is what i'm bringing to your view today so please stay put and learn yeah so i'm using 10 cups of flour today for the buns can you see how pretty the buns look yeah you can do that as well so inside a big bowl just ensure you have all your dried ingredients not to worry i'm going to drop all the recipes all the ingredients i use in my description box so i started by adding the sugar the baking powder the nutmeg the cinnamon actually cinnamon is actually optional it's just to have the aroma just to add a scent and again there's something i added that is off the video that's my vanilla flavor all those ones are optional it all depends on what you want to achieve but in a situation whereby you do not have all those you do not need it so inside my distribution box i'm going to add the important um, ingredient and the optional ones so you can do your buns without all these ones i'm adding the major thing you need is your sugar your flour and your water you're good to go that is it so i mix all the dry ingredients together i'm using my bare hands it's already washed and i'm trying to mix everything together to ensure all the ingredients are well combined So now I'm trying to create a hole in between the flour so I can add my butter into here. This butter is straight from the fridge. I'm using a cold butter because I want to achieve a chewable, crunchy, crepsy buns. So that's why I'm using a cold butter. That's a tip. And if you just want your buns to be chewable, you don't want that um, crunchy one just make sure you melt your butter but for me i want to i want it to be crunchy and chewable so i'm using everything i'm using here is cold to mix it i'm using cold butter cold egg and cold milk but if you just want your buns to be chewable and not crunchy just make sure you use melted butter and the egg should be just normal cold not from the fridge so now it's time to add our egg i added four eggs to this recipe so i use my hand again to mix everything together some don't like egg so egg too is not um is not necessity so it's not a must you can actually make your buns without egg but eggs helps it to be crunchy that is one thing about egg it helps it to be crunchy so if you do not like egg you don't need to put it so what i'm doing now is just to mix the flour with the egg make sure you combine the whole thing together very well now it's time to add my milk and guys note if you do not have milk liquid milk please go ahead and use your powdered milk just make sure you add your powdered milk alongside with your dried ingredients and if you do not have milk at all powder or liquid milk just add your water so i ended up using four cups of milk to this butter to achieve the texture i wanted i didn't film all that but i used four cups of milk so if you do not have milk just keep adding your water until you get this texture and this is the texture you want to achieve you don't want it to be watery so now it's time to fry I actually set it aside for like 25 minutes before frying so my oil is hot and I'm good to go it's time for us to fry ensure you wash your hands so well and um, water to help the butter not to stick on your hand and if you don't know what to use water just use some oil to rub your palm before frying yeah so now i'm gonna take it bit by bit inside the hot oil remember this is 
party buns so you want to take it bit by bit inside your hot oil you don't want something too big you want some a buns that um they can pick at once and put in their mouth not something to start cutting cutting do you get what i'm saying so you can see the butter is sticking in my hand i have to add some water and this is the first batch yeah it's normal this happened get burnt yeah because the oil was too hot now i've reduced the oil i know the temperature i needed and everything is good by me i'm going to going to the next batch and the next batch is not gonna be like this so not to worry if your first batch is like this all you need to do is to reduce the heat and that is it now i'm packing this and i'm going to the second batch and that was how i did for the remaining butter just over and over till i finish frying it guys please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you for coming by subscribe like and hold the notification bell thank you so much and do have a great day bye love you all